All right, Bourbon Quest, welcome back. It's your host, Bourbon Steve. Welcome to tonight's edition, or today's edition, whatever, of uh, Bourbon Quest. So, yeah, had a great day today. Did a lot of bourbon hunting, and one of the ones I really wanted to get, we got today, and that is none other than Chattanooga Whiskey Founders Edition. This is their 10th anniversary uh, blend. And while we were there, I uh, went to the uh, Experimental Distillery, rocking the new Chattanooga Whiskey hat, along with this uh, Chattanooga Whiskey uh, Founders Edition 10th Anniversary Blend. And that's what we're going to get into tonight. So this will be a fresh uh, crack. So if you haven't done so, go back. It was like two or three weeks ago. I uh, had the opportunity to go to Chattanooga Whiskey, uh, do a uh, private tour with um, there, um, which you can see that video along with an interview with uh, Tim Pearson. And look, Pearson, I, really, I hope I say that right. I don't mean to butcher his name. It looks like he's got his autograph there on the uh, neck there. But uh, so yeah, this is their 10th anniversary blend called Chattanooga Whiskey Founders. Uh, it is 100 proof. Um, so here we go. In the spring of 2012, Chattanooga Whiskey began blending and bottling 1816, an award-winning straight bourbon whiskey that helped overturn century-old distilling laws, while eventually succeeded by our own signature barrel 91 recipe, the whiskey's impact is never forgotten. This expression, formulated by our founder, is a blend of three whiskey recipes distilled in both Chattanooga, Tennessee, and Lawrenceburg, Indiana. This combination of traditional and innovative mash bills showcases the unique influence and balance between the three whiskeys, each symbolic of our founding creed. Rules are good, change them. Hell yeah! So, like I said, if you go back and look at that video when I was there, uh, a couple two or three weeks ago i did have the opportunity to uh do like a one ounce pour that they uh, provided us with there like uh it was on a tuesday two days before it was released to the public um and it was fantastic now i got my hands on my very own bottle and i can tell you right now you'll see in a minute but if you get a chance you will want to pick these up it's like uh, 50 bucks 49.99 is what i got so let's do that. I didn't do that properly. So let's pause for Court Pop America. Hell yeah. Tennessee Founders. Nice, healthy pour. And then, of course, like I said, this is a, a fresh bottle crack. So I'm going to do a nice little two ounce pour into the Infinity bottle here. Well, it's going to be our Overflow Overflow Infinity bottle because we've done ton of fresh cracks here the last week or two all right they do a blend I got a blend of over 400 between these three infinity bottles I almost picked up my fourth one today but I went over budget on the 20 bottles I got today this being I think the gem of them that I'm really excited about. So let's talk about it. Mm. Like the nose is great on this. It's, I mean, you get that that malt, that that uh, spice, the proof, caramel, honey, vanilla, cherry, mm. more honey. And rice spice. All right, I'm ready to taste this again. It's been a couple of weeks, and this time I got more to to follow up with. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Mm. Yeah, it's it's rich. It's dark. You get that chocolate. You get that malt. You get cherry, vanilla, caramel honey it's a wonderful blend I mean it really is I mean great price at right at 50 bucks 49 50 bucks 
and for a past, present, and future of Tennessee whiskey, which they're doing tremendous things out there, rocking the the gear with the I love this hat, the Chattanooga whiskey truckers hat, along with this founder shirt, which is what we're drinking tonight. And like I said, I I know it's about to hit my market here in Knoxville, um, but. I wasn't willing to wait. I went to Chattanooga today to get one of these, which they are available at the Experimental Distillery. Um, I mean, like I said, I, I went from Knoxville to Chattanooga to Tullahoma to Nashville. Um, I didn't actually hit any liquor stores in Chattanooga, which normally I try to do when I'm there, but um, I had a game plan of what I was trying to get done, and, and really this is what I was looking for. I knew I could get it at the Experimental Distillery. I imagine that it's probably available uh, on the shelves um, at the, you know, at least the larger liquor stores in Chattanooga. Um, again, I haven't seen it in Knoxville yet, but I know it's about to hit. Trust me, I know. So be on the look lookout for that in the next week or two. Surely it'll be there by, yeah, within two weeks. I, I would imagine actually sooner than that in the next week but it's nose is good palate's great shout out to chattanooga whiskey and tim they're doing a fantastic job there love their stuff great people great whiskey great story great merchandise <clears throat> but most importantly great whiskey i mean that's really what we're about so yeah pick you up a chattanooga fountain now from what I understand from Tim, you can again go back and watch that um, that interview. Is that you know the they're they're distributed in 14 states right now. Um, right now, you know, demand has met supply. You know, eventually they'd like to be in all 50 states, but uh, it's probably going to take a little bit of time to ramp up their production to be able to do that right now. Their main focus is to continue to meet the demand um, in the 14 states that they're currently in. Luckily, being in Tennessee, that's always going to be number one priority. So <laughs> we should be getting plenty of our Chattanooga whiskey. But, you know, so their main lineup, obviously, the, uh, the Chattanooga whiskey 91, the Chattanooga whiskey um, 111 cast strength, um, they will be doing two bottled in bonds each year um i did hear they're doing away with the single barrel um program at least for right now or whatever um but i, so I picked up another one of those at a store today too because they're freaking fantastic and then this founders is going to be an annual release too it'll be different each year but it'll offer a lot of consistency too just like i think you would get with a lot of other annual blends but they're so innovative at chattanooga i think there'll be a, a, a while similar i think there will be more differences than other annual releases and some of these are even more than annual like bookers or elijah craig barrel proof or so forth um but it's going to be along those lines but it's going to be a combination of their past their present and their future so while I think there will be some level of consistency, I think it will offer more variety than you see in a lot of other annual releases. That's just my opinion. But anyways, this one is fantastic. Glad I was able to get this bottle today. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. Let me know what you're hunting for um, and what you've been able to acquire. Smash that like button. Uh, if you haven't done so, subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications. Leave a comment, especially if you've had this. Um, actually, I do know from, uh, shout out to Paul and Eric. Um, actually, well, I should have said that in another video, but uh, I ran into both of them today. Uh, buddies of mine that uh, are bourbon clusters like myself, Eric Weber and Paul Height. And I know Paul uh, got this, um, two or three days ago in at Pops in North Knoxville off Emory Road. I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it in Knoxville yet, but I do know it actually has hit our market and, and it will be hitting other stores, I guarantee within this next week, 
next two weeks tops. But I wasn't willing to wait. Then I had some time, so I went to Chattanooga. And got it from the experimental Australia, which is really cool. Uh, I will be doing a video and another tour at the experiment. The last one was at the Riverside, and we'll be doing an event with uh, thanks to John Lawrence and stuff at Chattanooga Whiskey that we're scheduling for end of July um, at the experimental distillery. So that that should be exciting. You want to that's why you want to hit that notification or that yeah the notification button. That way you don't miss any special upcoming episodes like that or like tonight's because this Chattanooga Founders is awesome especially at 50 bucks are you kidding me mm. yeah all right that's gonna wrap it up bourbon quest just remember if you haven't done so uh hit that subscribe button we're on our way to 500 when we hit 500 we're getting a cat here on bourbon quest so that should be exciting um and then ring that bell like i said that way you don't miss a single thing with a special episode when we be back at chattanooga uh, whiskey company um, live I don't know about live but on site um, for that and yeah not only get their whiskey but man go to their website and grab some Chattanooga whiskey gear it's freaking cool leave a comment and we're gonna wrap it up with another pour and then I'm gonna go smoke a cigar and celebrate this successful day and listen I nailed one of mine that I was wanting to get and got some gear while I was there so I'm proud to rock that uh, but listen as we wrap up this video again cheers bourbon quest mm. and as always my wish for you is that all your bourbon quest dreams come true ha <laughs> ha love you Chattanooga whiskey this is fantastic man keep up the good work Tim love you bro that's a wrap.